Hello everyone. So today we're going to talk about three of the current trends to make your eyes pop. All right. I'm going to tell you from the beginning, straight off the bat, the first one might scare some of you, but I'm going to talk about it anyway. The second two are something that I don't care if you're like, I am the most conservative makeup person in the world. You can do them. All right. So we're going to talk about all three, even though the first one might scare you a little bit. So before we get started, with really into these three things. I am gonna jump in and get started on my eyes. So I already have my eye primer on and I am gonna go ahead and put on my neutral, my, uh, oh, that was not what I was trying to do. Obviously, I did not clean my brush from last time. <laughs> that happens to all of us. Hey, Becky. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my brush. Then I'm gonna be putting on my taupe color for my um, transition color. But the number one way, or not the number one, these aren't in any particular order. One of the ways that are, is a current trend right now, and this is the one that might scare some of you, the other two will be a lot easier for you to take, um, is to go with a dramatic color, all right? So what do I mean when I say that? Well, you can really pick any color. Color in, on your eyes is in right now. Um, but having said that, uh, the colors that are currently in for winter this year are, can you guess, because I'm wearing one of them, um, orange, which is one of those colors that scares me to death. But orange colors, um, fall like darker orange colors, brighter orange colors, those are all really on trend right now. And so that's something to think about. But really, any kind of a bold color that goes a little bit outside of your comfort zone is going to be great. So I am going to go ahead and get started with some of my oranges. Um, I went ahead and put on my taupe, my uh, transition color, and now I'm just going to take a light shimmery orange, and we're actually going to talk about this uh, in a minute or two, but one of the other things that's really in to make your eyes pop is adding shimmer when, wherever you can on the eye. So in this case, I am using a really nice bright shimmer. Um, this is almost a metallic, if you can tell there, it is very, very shimmery. It's almost a metallic. Metallics are super in right now. Um, metallics might be a little bit more for me. This is about as far as I go, but it's really, really pretty. And metallic, if you're not, if you're not kind of put, uh, intimidated by metallics like me, if you have some, go for it. That's super in right now. So I'm starting out with a really light kind of metallic orange. And then I am going in with one of my brighter oranges, this one. Um, I'm going to go in with one of my brighter oranges on the outside to really get that orange because it's going to make actually the rest of my shimmery orange look a little oranger just because I'm putting some more orange in that corner. So let's go ahead. And I like to build up, you guys, especially when I'm using colors I'm a little nervous about. So I will go with a little bit of a color, tap it, and put a tiny bit at a time on until I get it to where I want it. So I don't want to be super, super orange. This is a daytime look, right? But you can see my orange with my shimmer on the outside there. Let's do the other eye. Oh, I might have, I forgot to uh, pop this one. So it went a little darker. See, we all do it. Don't be afraid. This is why we grab that blending brush to blend that out a little bit. There we go. Now we're getting back to where I want to be. So, um, yeah, using a bright, bold color is super on trend right now. And you can kind of use any color, maybe play up what you're wearing, um, but just pick something that's a little brighter maybe than you'd think. So that is tip number one. Like I said, that's the one that for some of you might be a little scary. I know it is for me. You Reaching for that orange, even though I'm just using a little bit of it, it's perfectly fine. If you can use more of it, if you can go bolder, go for it. But reaching for that orange just really makes me nervous, but it is really gonna draw attention to the eye, which is what we're going for here, right? And then the second one we talked about was adding shimmer. And so you guys saw how I used a really shimmery, almost metallic on the lid itself. That's gonna make my eyes look a little more um, wide open. I'm also pulling out my almost empty benevolent um, luminizer, it took me a second there, but any kind of a light shimmery color, I could even use that same color I used on my lid. We're gonna go ahead and place that on the upper half of the um, face to pull attention up towards the eye. So right under the eye, right on top of the cheekbone, right across the nose, that little triangle right here. There we go. Um, 
Thank you, hon. I'm glad you like it because you have to stare at it all day. Um, a little shimmer on the triangle here. Adding that shimmer through the top half of your face is going to pull the attention. So even if you have to work up to using the bold eye color, even if you want to stick with your neutrals or your favorite colors right now, add a little bit of shimmer on the top half of your face to pull attention to the eyes. Now, the other one, and this is one that I personally really, really love, is um, a, there's lots of different terms for it. You guys have probably heard, if you follow any kind of makeup stuff, people talk about it. Maybe you've heard this term, maybe a different one. But uh, my favorite term for it is a lived-in liner. I think I like it just because of the alliteration involved, the lived-in liner. But what it is, is it's kind of a smudged look on your liner, right? So I'm gonna pull out my big palette again, and I am going to be using this uh, nice deep, actually, <laughs> I'm gonna go with this brown today. All right, so you don't have to go with blacks. It doesn't need to be. You can keep it kind of natural looking still. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right against, and I'm making sure I put plenty of it on here for this. You can use a liner pencil um, or a liquid liner too. And I'm gonna put it right against the lash. And then I'm taking my brush, so any kind of an angled brush, and I'm just going to, I took all my product off. I actually wiped it on my hand, which, you know, is weird, but that's what I do. And you're just going to smudge it up a little bit to make, give it that lived in liner look. Like maybe, maybe you slept in your eyeliner last night and didn't take it off. So it's just a little smudge, but this is a really in look and it's really creates, kind of draws the eye up towards the eye. Um, that was kind of redundant, but you know what I'm saying? Same thing. Bottom, I'm only doing like the outside half of my eye, but I'm using the same technique. I would stick close to the lash line, and then I use my brush to kind of smudge it out to give it that kind of lived in look. Works really, really well. And you can do this with any color. So if you are a little nervous about my first uh, tip, which was, like I said, um, going with a little bolder color, maybe something that's gonna attract a little more attention like my orange today. If you're not ready for that yet, that's perfectly fine. Um, go with a, your neutrals and then add a little shimmer on the top half of the face like we talked about as the number two. And then take a really pretty liner color. One of my favorites if I'm using neutrals is this one right here. This is a brownish red, right? So you can go with something that's maybe a little, a little, a little outside the typical black and brown, right? Take something else and do this smudged liner look and that's still going to draw some good attention up towards the eyes and really make your eyes pop, especially now when, when we're out and about, the eyes are pretty much all people are seeing, right? So that's super, super important. So once again, same technique, putting it on right against the eye look and then I'm just smudging it out a little bit. And I wanna make sure I smudged evenly on both sides, but it looks like I did. I'm pretty happy with that. So quick recap, three ways to make the eyes pop. Go with a bold color. Oranges are super in right now. If you're not too scared, go for it. I had to get out of my comfort zone. But any kind of a bolder color um, on the lid. Keep shimmers going. So shimmer on the inside corner, shimmer through here with a highlighter, luminizer, or just like a light eyeshadow that has some shimmer. Anything in the top half of your face to pull the focus. And a nice lived in liner look. So just right against the lashes and then grab yourself an angled brush and just smudge it out a little bit. Just the lived in liner look, right? And that, those are my three tips for pulling attention and making those eyes pop. All right, I am gonna jump off and do my lashes. Also a great way to make those eyes pop. And I will talk to everybody soon. Feel free to share this video. I always appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great week. Bye-bye.